Hello, we've decided to do a bit of a live today in Step Into the Spotlight and I'm going to have with me uh, Maria Pelicano. Hello, Maria. Hi, I'm really excited. I'm on live with you. I know, and this cool tool. And what we're going to talk, because you're just finishing now, we're doing our last call tonight, uh, the Step Into the Spotlight group profile building programs. So you've had six months with me. <laughs> have. It's been fantastic. Just getting to know you, Vanessa, has been awesome. You are and very been... <laughs> Oh, thank you. I feel really, really um, grateful for the for all the um, the ladies that have come through this first round. And um, it's kind of sad that tonight's our last call, but for some of us are still joining for the two day weekend in Sydney on the weekend that we'll be doing. So um, just because we've got round two that will be starting soon, so I'll be putting the link up for anyone who's interested in this, but round two will be starting on um, February the 27th and it's every Monday night at 7.30 Sydney time and that's what you've done. You've joined me for six months in total. It was like 26 weeks every Monday night at 7.30 yeah, we started, was that September? I think it was September or, or October last year. August, I think. August? <laughs> I think so, because remember we had the break, a month break over Christmas yes. and New Year. Yeah. Mm. So it was just brilliant. Um, I loved it. The fact that it was six months, uh, a lot of people say they want shorter courses, but I think six months is a great time if it's from home and it's convenient um, because, and, and rounding up all these amazing women from all over the place for how you rounded them up and it's just great because it's like I was meeting people from different parts of Australia at the same time. And yeah and so what you actually do you are you're a speaker you're an mm -hmm. author now yeah. you yeah. had your book come out actually while you were doing the program with me um, yeah. though your book was obviously done through someone else but you had that one come out at the same time and what you actually do is uh, you help people discover their unique voice, don't you, and be able to bring it out and be able to speak um, with confidence or with power or whatever. So you do kind of work with our voices for that area. Can you kind of tell a little bit more about that for anyone that's listening? Yeah. So I do uh, confidence and speaking kind of training and what I found is that when you're working with somebody's voice, it's not just their voice, it's also the way they're thinking. Like I had a lady today who came in for a voice lesson and I'm listening to her and I'm saying, she sounds great, What what's the issue here? And unfolding is all these personal feelings she has about herself and how she hears herself and how she mm. feels. And this is inhibiting her from communicating and from really stepping out in life so I went okay I, I'm going to be honest I think you've got an amazing voice but I don't believe you've got the confidence to use it so I think we can tell people to be confident and we can tell them to speak up but sometimes people won't speak up because mm. there are other factors yeah you yeah. came in into step into the spotlight um, when you joined it. What was the reason that you actually joined that program of mine? Because it is a group one, um, and it does go for a while. Um, and there's a reason for that for why it goes for a while. The reason is <laughs> that it's a fairly big, comprehensive um, course. There's a lot to learn in there and a lot to put into practice. So yeah, what's the reason you actually decided to hop into it? Because um, you're not lacking in confidence by any stretch of the imagination. No, but it wasn't It wasn't about that. I, for me, it was more about the marketing and the profiling. Uh, I've been so busy with my head down doing the work that often I haven't thought about the profiling. You know, I haven't thought about mm. Relanguaging things and so then people can understand. So one of the things you used to say to me is, Maria, what's the problem you solve unless you can really outline the problem you're solving and that it's speaking the language of my client, not my language but their language. So uh, being able to really uh, profile my work along lots of different platforms. So it wasn't just one platform, Vanessa, was it? It was lots of different ways that you can do it. Yeah. And it was 
one bit at a time, one little bit at a time, but with lots of information. You provided so much information. No. Yeah, and you didn't have to put everything into place, do you know what I mean? Like you girls were able to pick which bits were most relevant to you yeah. and yeah. be able to take that. Yeah, I mean, I downloaded at least three different um, attachments that you would have for every mod for every module, so you provided a lot of information. And, yeah. you know, and it was kind of summarised in our live sessions. That we would have and yeah and it was slowly and it was steady and slow because profiling isn't necessarily something that should happen really quickly either because it takes it takes some um, confidence for people to develop that confidence and also uh, it also takes that kind of time to develop your language around things that you want to profile yeah so I've been through ups yeah. and downs on that so, so we've got yeah. uh, we'll be here with a question what a great idea. And, yes, we can be very competent and still benefit from support. Yeah, totally, totally. And, you know, we're not only just learning information, we're actually rubbing onto each other. Like, I actually love your personality, Vanessa, and I've learned a lot just listening to you. <laughs> I'm like, that's a bit of Vanessa in me, you know, or that's a little bit of different leaders and mentors, you know, that they rub onto you and it's, and it's a beautiful thing. And you... You um, you were very good too with just sharing uh, stuff about voice, um, you know, and even you know helping me with some of my stuff as well around my uh, tendency to be very constricted and get a lot of throat problems around my voice as well. So yeah, really really good with that aspect as well. Um, I I think you know I we, one of the things about stepping into the spotlight program for those of you that are listening live or watching the replay and by all means we're here to um, answer any questions that you might have around the step into the spotlight program particularly if you've been looking at it and thinking about it and wondering oh is this one for me that's why Maria's on like you can ask her any questions if you want about it um, and also we can give you you know some idea of content and all that sort of stuff. One thing that I do do with the Step in the Spotlight program is I bring in guests because I can't, I'm not an um, expert in every area. So I would bring in some guests who know their area really, really well. Did you have a, a favourite that you thought, um, oh, I just loved this stuff. This is something that I could really work and learn with? Yeah, I, I just think they were all brilliant. You know, to me, you had a really wide selection and it was and it was different to what you were saying, not completely different, but meaning it was a different vibe and you kind of brought in, was there about 10 different people through the throughout the whole time? I'm sure there's about at least 10. No, we had eight. Okay, eight experts in different fields and that was beautifully done because that meant that I knew I was going to get deep information around that particular topic. And even though we all know enough about Facebook, we don't really know enough when you compare it to somebody who's an expert in Facebook uh, or what else we did. We did speaking. We did ads, Facebook ads. Um, Facebook ads. Yeah. yeah. Copywriting. <laughs> last, week, last week with the um, book writing with Natasha, yeah. who was at a, uh, a ball that I was at on the weekend. <laughs> And we're yeah, walking around with all that. <laughs> yeah, we're walking around with masks and Vanessa, and she's got one too. But I noticed her husband walking around. I went, I tapped him, and I said, "You don't know who I am because I've got this mask." Because this, we know who you are because you have curly hair. <laughs> it was really interesting. Yeah. No, I saw the, so I saw the pictures. Um, what do you think was probably? Um, you know, you've stepped into the role now. You were not an author before you started this program. And I will tell everyone that um, Maria didn't do the book in this program. It was another um, wonderful um, program that you were a part of for doing your book. But in terms of the fact that you have now stepped into the place of being an author now, have you got more of an idea now of the things, after spending six months in the program, more idea of the sort of things that you'll need to continue to do to keep your profile building, 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 not only as someone who helps us with our voice and to uncover what's you know beneath our voice and get our message out, um, but as an author as well and a speaker yourself. Mm -hmm. To me, the book's a lot about your message and I think, 
uh, your message has to be strong to, to keep you going through the ups and downs in life because there are days that you just don't want to do your work or, you know, you go, oh, stuff it. I don't need to go that far or I don't need to, to take on that. But you do because you're passionate about your message. And the book to me is a lot about that component also. It's not just about our voice. It's not just about our thinking, but who needs to hear this message and how passionate are you going to be? Almost like an ambassador, really. Is, is, are you out there as an ambassador? So what would I be doing? Well, I, I am really focusing on positioning at the moment, positioning. Mm -hmm. and that whole term is a new term for me uh, because I didn't know what that meant, positioning. And to me, that's branding. Mm. It's also being very clear about the people you want to work with but it doesn't have to be that only thing forever you know it can be a cluster it can be a, a a particular group for a little while so that's great for me because the book is so broad so i could go in lots of different directions but definitely profiling now is probably positioning for me and it's becoming very very important i'm understanding that positioning is also status and not status like I want everybody to know I'm famous or anything like that. It's not that because I've been through that as a singer. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not buying it. Um, <laughs> just, I don't. I just don't. You know. I just don't like that kind of rat, rat, rat race. Um, it's more about what are you going to be good at? What are you going to be passionate about? And what are you going to live? What do you stand for? Yeah. What do you stand for? What's your cause? And what are you here to do? And I think that's yeah. the only thing that's going to sustain you because it's a noisy environment and everybody's talking about sometimes the same topic. But I think who carries the weight and carries more of the um, kind of like the gifting or the frequency listening to force versus power at the moment? Uh, force versus power. Yeah, the one by um, David Hawkins. So oh. that, that book is amazing. I've got it as an audio book. But simply because you've been spending so much time in one particular field, you, you almost have that, um, you have that land and that authority. You have that authority to step up in that area. And if you don't, somebody else will. But it will never be the same as somebody who's been in that space, even possibly as a child or even generationally at times. So we carry that in our message and often we, we probably don't have the, the, the skills or the tools or the mindset to continue that message because it's almost like a trumpet sound. It's a sound. It's a sound mm. you make and only you can make it. So to me a book is that. It's the beginning of the trumpet sound and it's just a matter of now going, okay, now how am I going to be really committed and position myself so then people will know what I do specifically. And that's that's the main thing. It's um, If you want to continue to build your profile, it is really, really very much about commitment to the process because as you've all realised, okay, so you all sign up um, for six months and it's not like you're all superstars overnight, do you know what I mean? But you've still got to continue to do the stuff that you learnt, take the bits that work the most with you and continue to be on message, build that profile and continue to be seen and heard as well. Like you're saying, there's a lot of noise out there. So the more on message you are, um, uh, the more likely you are to actually stand out amongst that noise. So the fact that you're doing that positioning now and really concentrating and getting that now is really, really good. Yeah, and, you know, it's been a little piece of jigsaw puzzle here and a lot of, another little piece mm. from here and another from there. But one of the things I thought you did really well too in the program was that you begin to call out. You were beginning to call out those those gifts and abilities you could see in each one of us. Like, you know, you could really, you almost like um, confirmed for this season for me. You know, you'd confirm. And I've had other people too along the way, but another confirmation there, another confirmation there. And these are leaders that I've picked, you know, and you've been there for six months. And I loved it. I loved that you could confirm not only this is what we can do, guys, but, you know, you're really good at this and this is this is your area here. And I think that's important too in, in leadership and mentoring, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, and that's the thing. Like what I love doing when I get the group together is I see the special talents in each one of you all that went through. So good in this area and for your profile building, it would serve you to continue down that line. While you over here, you're really good in this area. So some of you were natural speakers, some not so much. Others were great at doing other things. Um, so, yeah, so that's what I like to do. And that's just from getting to know the people that are in the group. Um, and that doesn't come straight away. You know, it, it takes time for us all to get to know each other. And when I'm watching you all at work as well and seeing what you're doing, that's what gets me to be able to tune in to each one of you and see, um, OK, that's their special talent. That's where they've got to go. So I'm glad that that was helpful because it's just something that I could naturally do and I can't hold back from it. You've got to go down this line because that's where you'll get that. It's so important because it's not about just dishing out information. You know, it's really about application. And and if if you can help us apply specifically that, you know, that particular topic you're talking about, now this is, you know, this is specifically for you and this is what you could do here and that's what you could do. And I think you took the time to do that. And we also took the interest to do that. So and it wasn't like I was just sitting at a lecture going, well, let's just see where this, it's just information. It wasn't just information. It was personal. You know, the kangaroos came in and that was okay. Like, that was like, that was like you know, hey, guys, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm your friend and, and I'm your mentor at the same time. It was great. Yeah, nobody gets onto one of my calls without meeting one of the kangaroos, do they? <laughs> it's very organic, you know. It's kind of like. Let's get away from all this technical stuff. Here's a kangaroo right now, you know, and living its purpose. <laughs> um, so that you're doing the positioning and all that sort of stuff, um, I'd have to ask you, what particular area was the most challenging for you as you worked your way through? Because we have 26 modules that we present. Um, so for anyone... It's not light on. It's fairly heavy um, and you do have to put focus, focus, focus into it. Was there one particular module or area um, that we taught with the profile building that you thought was more challenging for you than the others and you kind of felt a relief that you got through it? Yeah, I mean, the offers were very challenging for me, the offers, like, and how to language that. I mean, we had to come up with six different offers. And, yes, you did. You know, I was looking at Carmel's one and I went, I, I almost just copied Carmel's. I went, oh, she did that, she did that. <laughs> I'm like, hey, this is the deal. Take it or leave it, you know. <laughs> but, you know, the Carmel offers. Carmel nailed it. Carmel nailed it very quickly with um, with offers. I, yeah. I cut and pasted it in my notes and at <laughs> night time I was on my bed going, what's she doing there? And why did she call that there? And no, she just really detailed it beautifully. So Carmel's is still in my notes. Um, yeah. <laughs> I do remember you struggling around the offers one. It was more the languaging more than anything and what to present. But I think that you 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 really have turned around in that area now. I think that you're really getting that now, um, your languaging and all that sort of stuff um, because you're working on a new website now already, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. I wanted to um, have a website that, that links really nicely with MailChimp and the one I've got was a temporary condition. Um, so, yeah, I'm developing that and it will allow me to add more platforms, you know, if I want to do landing pages or, or, or other things. So I'm, I've always dreaded the WordPress system, but I've gone WordPress. So and a, and a man in Texas is building it for me, actually. A wonderful man Who in is? Texas. A man in Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was recommended to speak to him, so we've been doing that. And, um, yeah, and thanks for your feedback too because I know I, sh I shot you an email, a quick message yesterday and go, can you quickly have a look because I, I have to say yes or no to it. So, yeah, every now and then you've dropped in some nice, uh, you're definitely great at those um, taglines and, you know, get to the point lines. That was fantastic. I grabbed a few of those and I'm using them. So yeah, next, one thing I... Yeah, one thing I find with many people, you know, because they, you know, you guys that went through the program do not see it, okay? Because you've been evolving and evolving for twenty six weeks, you just don't see it. But for me, sitting back and seeing where you started to where you are now, finishing off, mm -hmm. okay, so you all might not be super duper famous yet, but in terms of your focus, your clarity, your direction. 
um, your, your languaging for all of you, all that has improved so much. And before there used to be a lot of rambling. Now, most of you, in fact, all of you now, can cut your message, boom. Yeah. You all learnt to do. So I think that's really, really important. And people underestimate that with profile building. They just think, oh, if I just get out there and be seen and be heard, you know, it's not. Yeah. It's about being seen and heard, but it's about the message and the way that it's delivered as well. And there's a big difference for all of you. Well, totally. And the thing is, like, I've, I'm, I'm very comfortable with being out there and being heard but what's important is what are they hearing you know and how are you positioning yourself and what's you know what are people thinking and perceptions about you like is that what you want and so yeah there's got to be uh, definitely a, a review on even looking at what you're putting out there and i think this program was great because I could be a bit more precise. Now, somebody just flicked a message and I, it's disappeared. Oh, it's just Trilby, so it's come up again when Trilby had mentioned earlier on about um, no matter how confident you are, as I said, you're, you're, you're actually uh, quite confident. There was a lot of people that joined the first round of the program that um, were not as confident, yet I have seen huge leaps and bounds yes. in their confidence. Yes. And yet I didn't see this as a program to lift my confidence. It wasn't about that. It was a program mm -hmm. that could give me some tools and skills around promotion and uh, profiling. That's how I saw it. Not profiling in the sense of me talking about things because that I didn't, that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for how, how do you write offers up and how do you, you know, get into that source bottle for example for articles i've written about five now you know um it's just a lot of those tips that you gave me it's great yeah so even with things like source bottle um which for anyone that's watching this source bottle is a media uh, source that we use where you can get into being um featured in the media in some sense so it's the beginner's entry i see it as that yeah. how do you find it now with compared to, you know, the tips that I gave you and some of the stuff I put in the membership area of how to actually apply for the source models compared to before. Did those extra tips actually oh, help on how to actually apply? Well, what happened? Remember I said to you I, after a while I deleted it because it looked like junk. Yeah, you got bored. Now yeah. I'm actually looking at them going, oh, there's one. I could write about that one. Yeah, I could write about that one. I actually wrote for a bridal for a bridal um, company on... Wow. Live, live music versus uh, recorded music at a ceremony. And the lady goes, oh, that's really interesting. So I just wrote probably a 1,000 words on, on that, the difference between live music and recorded music. But the point is I was just going to say something and it's just slipped my mind. Um, the other thing is that you put us, oh, yeah, yeah, hang on a second. I'm just forgetting what I was going to say. But you said... One of the things that I thought you contributed to was also being able to um, give us insight on what, what it is that we're already doing. And I thought you've been doing that. Like I could bounce off with you because I'd done this, I was locked into your profile course, right? Yeah. I then felt that I could access you during the next six months if I had any questions around what I'm doing, you know. And, and you looking in and going, okay, why don't you change this a bit or have you thought about that, you see? So I had access, or hopefully I'll still have access to you, but of course I, you had do. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've built a friendship. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. you know, like, oh, it's okay, Vanessa's always out there. If I'm really stuck, I can always shoot her a quick message. Yeah, but just like you did months, last night. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm still in the course. I haven't finished. But, yeah, I'm just thinking um, it's great to have people like that in your life because I wanted my website quickly looked at and I thought, what am I going to ask? You know, I don't ask my friend. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. And one of the things that I do do with Step in the Spotlight, um, one of the things that was important for me is because I know it's about, it's being high support program. And so one of the things I did do was bring in a support coach in the form of Helen Ryan. So she was there as well to access, not so much about what do I do next? How do I build my profile? But more any of the um, 
the blocks and limitations that for anyone who's going into a course like that might have. So she was always there as well. You had um, two sessions each if you wanted to use them um, okay. with Helen Ryan, yeah, just to get around some well, of that. I only, I only did one. Probably I should do another one with her because she's fantastic. She is fantastic. This particular area that she deals with is um, male and female energy and archetypes, right? So that's, that, that's one area, yeah. Well, that was the area that I, well, I'm not sure about her other areas, but uh, that is really, really interesting for me. And I probably should try to grab one more session with her before we completely finish off. So, Well, it's there for you. So just get in contact with Helen because um, she was something that I just realised that I couldn't serve everyone all the time. So it was having someone else that says, um, I know the other girls have uh, quite tapped into Helen, so some of you have tapped in more than others because some needed it more than others, that extra support. Um, so that was the idea of having the support coach. So Helen will still be coming through in the next round as well, in round two, as being that support coach as well. So though I might be the one to call upon when, yes, you want to look me to look at your offers or you want me to look at the website copy or... Mm. You know, I've got this offer being made to me or this opportunity. Will it be a good one to take up? Though I'm the one to, to check in on those in terms of, oh, my God, I'm feeling some fear or something, I always yeah. send you yeah. off to the support coach just so that I'm dealing with one area and Helen's dealing with the oh, other. So that was, yeah. Yeah. It's like another, that was it's like, another arm, like another arm. But there was something that you did really, really well was that you really advised us a lot and I thought I needed this the ins and outs of what's right and kind of wrong on social media, you know, like. <laughs> and connecting with influencers, <laughs> remember? Educated. No, none of us are educated. We just, yeah. when I when I first started, I just banged my stuff anywhere and everywhere and I'm thinking, <laughs> I can't even see where it says do this on Tuesday and that on Wednesday. I can't see it, so I'm going to put it in. We'll see what happens. You know, um, but now I'm like a little bit more cautious. I actually realise there's there are road signs out there, invisible road signs in this whole social media world. Yeah, uh, you really got to be a lover as people build the wrong perception again. So you shared a lot about that, and that was helpful. Thank you. Yeah, and um, the other thing I enjoyed doing it too was um, the presenting to you girls. I think it was a bit of an eye-opener with Bronwyn Boyle when she came in as well with um, connecting with influencers that as well. So how to uh, get on the radar uh, so that you can open up those opportunities. So I found for a lot of them that was quite eye-opening as well. Wise tips and, and it was from people that have been there, done that for a while mm. and I think that's valuable. It's just awesome to have that that knowledge, you know, passed. Because there's a lot of us, like I said, you know, a lot of people just starting out in business and, and they've got no idea of just how to do things in a way that that can be more um, attractive to people or more permissible, like, you know, so you're not really rubbing up the wrong way and don't become a nuisance. That's what it is. Don't become a nuisance because... <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And I would show you, I would show you real examples, didn't I? <laughs> you have to all yeah. keep it. <laughs> Stuff out there, so much information. And and what are you going to follow first? So I think it's going to become more and more. It's people we know. We're going to listen to the people we know. And if we don't know them, I mean, it's just, I don't know how you feel, but I just can't keep up with everything at the moment. So unless I really know that person, I'm not going to read it. Yeah, exactly. And I'm and that's that's the thing about it. And it's about tapping into who you want to connect with and not trying to connect with everyone that's in this game. Um, working out who you get it, you know, who that you really have a reason for wanting to connect with and you must like them as well. I believe um the likability factor has to come into it as well. So it's not just about, oh, I want to connect with that person because they can help me. No, there's got to be a deeper level than that for connections. And that's why I believe in and a great ways like this, isn't it, when we can literally talk and people can get to know your personality. Because sometimes in written format, you can't capture that as much as when you can actually see the person come live. So yeah. this is all. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for speaking with me. I'm going to um, 
get ready for our final call tonight. Um, yes. If anyone is interested, I'm going to put up the link. You can contact me if you want to or just um, have a look and register for Step in the Spotlight Round 2. So we're already half full um, and this is uh, first day of actually starting to advertise today, Maria. So pulled my finger out today and started to actually advertise it but we've already got it half full already. So if you're interested and you want to join, step into the spotlight. And, you know, as Maria says, it's not instant fame. You're not going to get instant fame, and I'm not promising you instant fame, but there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to learn along the way. Um, Maria's got her book out now, so if anyone is also interested in connecting and following up with Maria, where can they get both of those, like your book for starters? Because yeah. the book is great. It's, if you're very much into wanting to know how to speak, and I, yeah. it's really find your voice, isn't it? It's not like getting up yeah. on stage so, so much and speaking. My, my business is called Harness Your Voice. Harness Your Voice, Speak with Influence and Power. So it's about harnessing, controlling your voice in your message and in your speaking. And so that's the website. If you Also on Facebook, of course, you know, Maria Policano. And uh, yeah, you can always touch base with me. I'm, I'm out, definitely out there on YouTube talking a lot. There's a lot of free resources on my website. And the other mm. thing I want to recommend, guys, is if you want to get everything in a nutshell, like you're going to a shop and you're buying a bag full of all great goodies to get your business started, then you've got to do Vanessa's course because Vanessa's course is like a show bag with everything in it that you need to know to become visible and you've just covered it all really Vanessa is there anything you've missed because I don't know I don't think you have really no I try to put everything that someone that's starting out that needs to know what do I need to do what are my steps to take I try to put it all in without yeah. going overly deep so for example we yeah. cover Facebook ads in one one week okay yeah. um, that's not that's not a full Facebook ads training though but you have to admit that what Simona showed you, you can go off now and watch the replay and yeah. you'll be able to set up your Facebook ads uh, yeah. and you know what to do now, don't you? Yeah, yeah totally, totally. But it's yeah. not the advanced a, a, a Facebook ads course. Yeah. you know. That, and yeah. a, lot of the, a lot of the things with the program is that um, there were some great offers also made by some of the guest speakers. So if any of yeah. you did often take up some of those offers to actually work further or take the information further with yep. some of those guest speakers as well. Exactly. So there's a lot available all, to you. Yeah, all the mm. guests they actually offered beautiful things, you know, and were very generous. Yeah, so they were all there for you to take the step further in those particular areas because there's some areas I'm good at and some areas other people are better at. <laughs> so you can all... Um, yeah, if you want to connect with Maria, obviously her name I've had up on this the whole way through so that you know who Maria is. And um, you can connect with Maria even if you want to ask about the program. I'm quite sure that she'll tell you a completely unbiased view of her experience through it. Um, Maria's not only worked with me, she's worked with plenty of other people as well and you're going on to do even other great um, training yeah. and courses. So your knowledge that you're yeah, building... I, I love learning because I'm meeting fantastic mentors like you who are going to be part of my life, you know, so. Yeah, and I'm really thrilled to see with what you're moving into next. So it's going to be amazing for you and, you know, I'm only going to watch you continue to grow and grow. So you'll find Maria on Facebook. It's Harness Your Voice also is the website um, and she has her book out as well for anyone who wants to get a, grab a copy of that. Thank you so much for your time, Maria. And as I said, if anyone's interested or you've been thinking about the Step in the Spotlight group program, and I'm sorry for switching from really beautiful light lighting over there, Maria, which I was first in, now That's to great. the road. Absolutely clear. Useful. Uh, the grody lighting now, though, the dark one, where it's just the light from the computer screen That's making great. me look a bit like Morticia. No, you're looking gorgeous. Vanessa, I'm going to have to go. <laughs> yes, so thank you so right much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you for talking with us and thank, thank you for sharing. Much. And hopefully people will find you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.